Yeah, you got it. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Back here again with another lesson. Before we begin, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone every well. Peace and blessing to the elect. I'm the brother you want to thumb. And we back here, you know, we back here again with another exhortation, uh, another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. Praying this lesson is edifying in the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And his son's name, true name, is Yahweh Shah. Bahashim is in the name. Rakhak with is through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is and this lesson is coming through the Holy Spirit, man. That's right. Lord willing, this edifying. Come on, man. So you know, brothers, just want to go on a quick exhortation. You know, Lord willing, for Akim to uh, know the state of thy flock. Right. Okay. Of course, you know, like the scriptures say, Proverbs twenty-seven and verse twenty-three, it says, "Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flock, and look well to thy herds." Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can apply this scripture to doing the work. You know, um, you know, what I'm saying feeding the sheep. Okay, but as well, also checking on the sheep and making sure brothers are straight, you know, checking on Akim and things of that nature, man. You know, be thou diligent to know the state of thy flock, man. You got to know how brothers is doing, man. Okay, you know, this brother right here, the brother you want to thought, he'd be real keen with that, man. He'll check in, he'll call call brothers, see how brothers doing, even if it's a quick little phone call. It don't got to be a whole hour long phone call. Hey, Ak, you straight. You don't know how much that can do for a brother's spirit, man. How much it could boost a brother's spirit. Hey, it says to what? Let brotherly love continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and hey, we, we, we supposed to be brothers, right? And I'm not gonna call myself the greatest brother, but hey, we all, you know, people in the world say, hey, we all we got, man. Yep. So at the end of the day, us being the body, we want to make sure that, hey, you know, if your arm feeling off, that affects the whole body. Right. If your ankle is swollen, that affects the whole body. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we are checking on the floor. We want to make sure that we're in tune, man, because, again, with us being the body, any schism could knock us off our pivot, man. And we want to make sure that we're on our two, you know? Ooh. You know, hey, when you walk, hey, it's a... It's a Walking is not just a single movement. It right. takes all these different body parts to get you to walk. Hey, that's beautiful. If that's... your toe is feeling bad, it's yep. going to be harder to walk. If your ankle feeling bad, it's going to be hard to walk. Your knee messed up, it's going to yep. be hard to walk. Yep. It's a unison. That's right. It's a science to walking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, when you walk, it's one, two, one, two. If that if that left foot is not um adjacent to the right, you could fall and trip. Right. So, again, hey, it's, everything is very important. You know, uh, I got a preset to back you up. Come on. First Corinthians 12, Sunday verse uh, 25. It says that there should be no schism in the body, mm -hmm. but that the members should have the same care one for another. Mm -hmm. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Mashiach and members in particular. Mm -hmm. So if one member suffer, we all suffer. If one brother going through it, we all going through it. You know, like let's say a brother don't have a car. Okay. That's one brother suffering. Well, guess what? We all suffering because now Akim are taking turns carpooling that brother, making sure that brother's straight. You know, we're all a body, man. Just wanted to bring that out through the spirit back to brother. Hey, that's right, man, because if one brother doesn't have a car and you have a car, you know, if you even if you live 30 minutes out, hey, you got to call that brother to see if he gets the camp on straight, man. That's your duty as a brother, man. All right. If a brother needs a rod, if you have a hundred dollars, and a brother needs 50, okay? Especially if all your things are taken care of. Hey, that's your duty to help out the brother, man. Ooh. This is a brotherhood, man. Salakia, like and that goes back to what? Knowing the state of thy flock. That's right. Bible Kishon, can you get for me uh, 1 Timothy 6? Start at verse 17, Bible Kishon. Come on, this is 1 Timothy chapter 6, starting at verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded, nor trust in certain riches, but uncertain, so lock it. I'll read it again. That they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Right, so like the brother, the brother brought up the analogy with money. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect precept that can apply to it, right? Because a lot of dudes get money and they act like they don't know the brothers anymore, man. Right. All right, keep going, Bible Kishon. So lock it. Call 12. Verse 18 They that do good, that they be rich in good works, mm -hmm. ready to distribute. 
willing to communicate ready to distribute meaning you're ready to help and give brothers where need be if you got the resources and it says what willing to communicate mm. meaning it fellowshipping and checking up on akiyam man mm -hmm. okay that's what we ought to do know the state of thy flock man mm -hmm. if you, you ain't gonna know a brother struggling if you don't ever reach out and see how a brother doing though that's right you know hey that's beautiful that you say that you know a brother things may not be on a uh, good for him he may not have a job that's okay he may not have a car that's okay so a hey, knowing that if y'all need to go to camp, it's a, you need to call the brother. A, a, they say closed mouths don't get fed. But mm -hmm. again, knowing the flock, you got to discern, okay, a, the brother may not have a rod. I need to call to make sure he has a rod, man. Because if you don't call, you're not being brotherly, man. You know what? Um, uh, There's another one in the book of Psalms where it says to let brotherly love continue as well. But um, Psalms 133. Yep, Psalms 133. Call out us, no oh, but shy. you want the Hebrews 13? Let brother Leo continue. Get the Psalms. Okay, you know, call. Bible Hey, that's very important in this ministry, man. Why? Because our Lord Yahweh Shah pushed that, man. Mm -hmm. He pushed being brotherly. He pushed. Uh, you quoted it today at camp. You know, a man lay his life for his brothers, man. Yeah. Okay, so in the times of Jacob's trouble, even in the times now, man, they coming against us. So. A moral when it's Jacob's trouble, it's really gonna be us, those that serve you. How about my shot against the world, man? Yeah, you know. So, if, if you're not willing to distribute, if you're not or willing to give right now, you know, in the times of trouble, you know, hey, it, it's kind of you, you it's gotta really, trickle down, right? You gotta practice. Mm -hmm. This is real. All we're doing now is practicing, rehearsing until what that big stage, that big show. You know, right? Psalms 133 and 1 Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Whoo, how good and how pleasant for brothers to dwell in unity, man. And when you're a unit, uh, unity goes back into what? A unit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, me and this brother, we all want to court. That and that brother, they're on one accord. But guess what? We all have the same mind, man. So if we're, if we have unity, we're all one together. Okay, so that being said, we got to be on one page, man. Uh, brothers have to, um, so lucky, bro. I'm not trying to ramble, but, hey, but brothers, you know, have to care for one, uh, for, for, for one another, man. Yep. You know, brothers have to be ready to give because all this shit is carnal, man. Yep. You know, me having a hundred dollars today, that shit could be gone tomorrow. Right. But guess what? I feel way much better knowing that I did something with it. Gave it to a brother, you know? So that's the point. Right. Can you finish off on verse 19, Bible Kishon? Come on, uh, 2 Timothy chapter... 1 Timothy 6, 19? Oh, 1 Timothy 6, 19, Bible Kishon? Come on, I'm on the wrong... Oh, yeah. Yeah, right here. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 19. Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may that they may lay hold on eternal life. So you're gonna be rewarded for that, man. Mm. All the sacrifices you make to help the body out, you're laying up a good foundation for yourself in a time of trouble, man. That's right. Okay, and I got uh, two more precepts, you know, unless the brother got anything else, and Lord will, we can close with this. Mm. Uh, Baba Kusha, can you get for me Hebrews 13 and 16? Mm. You know, cause that's gonna be a perfect precept to land back off of that other one. Cause like it says, to uh, willing to communicate, man. Right. Cause when you go into the word, communicate in the blue letter, it means to fellowship, man. That's right. And fellowship isn't just strictly you linking up with brothers, even though that's that's very good for your spirit. Acts the second chapter talks about how they broke bread, they were fellowship, they continue in the apostle doctrine. It's very good to link up with brothers, get around brothers, you know, be around brothers, each other's spirits. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. But also, even if you're on the phone with a brother, man, mm -hmm. you know, like the Apostle Paul said, though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, but you got it. Uh, Hebrews 13, 16. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 16. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. Mm -hmm. For with such sacrifices, the Most High is well pleased. That's right. So, Yahweh Bashman is well pleased to see brothers checking up on each other, you know, communicating, fellowshipping, helping each other out if a brother need help, exhorting one another, encouraging themselves in Yahweh Bashman Shai. You know what I'm saying? Picking each other up when a brother is down. You know, or even humbling a brother when he's too high. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you know, you, real men, real friends are gonna check you. That's, right. That's all a part of knowing the state of thy flock. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You know, so it goes back to communication and as well helping each other when we have need, man. That's yes, right. Okay. And I got this uh, next precept, Acts 20 and 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves right. and to all the flock mm -hmm. over the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to feed the church of Yahweh Shemashai, which he hath purchased with his own blood. So this brother, Yahweh Shai died for this brother, man. And if I'm calling myself a steward of Yahweh Shai, a minister of Yahweh Shai, did not Yahweh Shai say, if you love me, feed my sheep? Right. Feeding the sheep isn't just strictly doing the work, okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, that's the main thing. But also feeding the sheep is making sure brothers is straight. That's right. Taking care of brothers. Well, did not Yahweh Shai say in Matthew 25, how, uh, Lord, well, let me get that real quick, just to be Matthew, quick. Matthew 25? Yeah, where he said, um, I'll get it real quick. Matthew 25, starting at verse 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed are my father, and Herod, the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Mm. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when, shall, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? Or when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked or and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye have done it unto the one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me, Ooh. man. So you gotta know the state of your flock, man. man. Yes. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Now, go, ahead. go ahead, my lord. Go ahead, you speak. I was gonna say you gotta know the state of your flock because that's a part of you uh, uh, taking care of your how is shy, man, in an indirect way. Man, but you just read in the verse the things. Hey, what our Lord did, man. How much more us brothers, man. It's very important to not have no evil eye towards your brother or treat him like a nigga, man. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not at least trying to uphold the things that our Lord Yahweh Shah was doing, you're treating the brother less than, man. And that's like the brother said, that's Yahweh Shah's little one, man. Mm -hmm. You, hey, hey, the Lord takes offense to that. Right. How you treating one of his little ones. It tells you that in um, the book of Matthew as well, that, yep, yep. that, um, um, you want me to get it? Con, your neck is gonna be cast into the sea by a, a great millstone. Yep. Or roughly paraphrasing, man. So it's much. It, it's a lot. It's much offenses that come with that, man. Yep. Now, um, no, go ahead. You grab it. Uh, Matthew eighteen and six. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for them that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. You see. You see? So offend one of these little ones. So if you if I know my brother don't got a rod and I just take my ass to camp without calling them, but then hey that brother knows, hey shit, nobody called me. They know I'm, that that can offend a brother, man. So you don't want to make sure you you, you don't want to offend a brother, man. That's one of the the worst things that you can do, especially if he's a sincere brother, man. Con. You know? Con. A last one, Lord willing. You got one? Con. Go Verse ahead. 10. Matthew 18 and 10, take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So just like every brother got their own guardian angel, and you might despise a brother in your mind, guess what? His guardian angel can peep that mm -hmm. and report it back to the heavenly father. You might have offended a brother. His guardian angel peeped how that brother was grieved in the spirit and reported it back to the heavenly father, and next thing you know, you're getting judged, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to be mindful how you treat Akim, and you got to know the state of that flock. You got so, anything else, man? Just, just one more. Uh -huh. First Timothy chapter uh, 4, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth, mm -hmm. but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity, man. Yep. Hey, so, hey, the outside should know, hey, damn, these brothers related. You got, I remember one time we went to the store, one dude thought this brother was my son. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Hey, that, that's a lot, nah, brother. Like that's really the spirit, even though we the same age, but right, right. it's really through the spirit, man, yep, because, yep. hey, out in the public, that's the type of love we have, and it's not right. only just outside. It's when we outside or inside, but, hey, that's the type of um, level, you know, or that's the type of standard that you should have, man. Everywhere you go, a brother don't, hey, you need something, hey, you need, but, you know, that's just the point of this lesson, man, man. Yep. Hey, we have to know the state of our flock because, hey, we all we got, man. Yep. In the world, they try to push that. Hey, but those are niggas, man. We're, mm -hmm. we're trying to be the believers and the servants, all right, of you. How about Shemal Shah, man? That's you know? right, man. Uh, fuck. I know I said a lot. Come one on, more, no, you can't push the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Acts 2 and 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship mm. and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together 
and had all things common. That's right. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. So, meaning we had all things common. If I got a car, this brother got a car. Mm -hmm. If I got a place to stay and this brother don't got a place to stay, guess what? He got a place to stay, That's man. That's right. That's a part of us having all things common. Okay? It says, and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising Yahweh Shemashiach and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Right, yep. man. So, hey, you can close out with hey, man, with that, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. But just a few more words before we wrap this yeah, up. God. Take care of the brothers, man. This yep. is this message is to ourselves first and foremost, man. And we got many great examples. Look at our apostles and elders. Look at our brothers in, in these other different camps, man. You know, that those camps can't grow or stand for that long unless there's real foundation, real love within them camps, man. And we're not talking about that love that they push in this world, man. No real love, man. You got to be able to lay your life down for the brother that's next to you, man. Right. You know, it's very serious, man. But don't want to push, you know, don't want to over push it, man. But lower this, this lesson was edifying. Exhortation to the next time. Give all praise, glory, and honor to you. Yeah, how about Shem, Yahweh Shad, by Shem, Dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Till next time, Shalom. Shalom. Abba Abba. Abba Abba. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Shalom.